the day I met you, it all started when we talked on POF. P-O-F. Plenty of fish, or should I say lies. Lies, you ask why I say. You made me fall in love with you. You knew exactly what you were doing. You would say all the right things to make me fall deeply. Words. That is what I will say. It was just words until we met. That day was special. You caressed my face once to lean in for a kiss. I'm a fool, but I'll let you. I didn't want to upset you, but the gentle touch manipulated my mind. It manipulated my heart. Several dates happened and I became so attached. I'm sorry for being hopeless romantic, but I believed in dreams and you said you did too. You said you could see a future with me and I fell for that trap. You told me what I wanted to hear. You did a great job. I said yes. Yes, a word I don't use too often, but for you, I did. Our dates were special and it was amazing when we made it official. I told you from the jump that I wanted to wait a few months before sex. I wasn't trying to torture you. I just wanted a real relationship based on love and not just sex. I said it. I wanted to wait. He agreed and respected my wishes, or so I thought. Days went by and our connection grew stronger until sex, yes, I said it again, was weighing on your mind. You asked why we had to wait. My response was, I want you to love me for me and not for the meat on my body. I thought I made that clear the first time I told you. I just brushed it off as a friendly reminder to him again and again and again. He wanted sex badly, so he said he can't wait anymore. He was my first serious relationship, and I didn't want to lose him over something like this. I gave in. The few months turned into just a few weeks. You could say I was desperate for his love. Because I didn't know what love felt like in my life until he came along. I couldn't lose that. I could not. I gave in. I cracked. My request to wait was obliterated. I remember it. In middle and high school, the health teacher talked highly on safe sex. So did I. The thought of becoming pregnant or catching a disease is unbearable. Safe sex, I said. He agreed. Well, for the most part. I lied down next to him as he began to kiss me. Yes, the gentle touch of his lips against mine. Both of us lying here in our birthday suits, enjoying each other's company. I was nervous. I'm not going to lie. This was my first time actually having sex by consent. Consent, permission for something to happen. So it happened. No need to go into details. Let's all be adults now. The sound of the wrapper from the condom being opened and put on. I honestly didn't know how to have sex. And at that point... I was nervous and didn't want it to happen in the first place. I couldn't say no. I loved him. And he convinced me that people who love each other have sex. He began, and I was not enjoying one bit of it. I was ready for it to be over. I was scared. I closed my eyes, imagining that I was home in my bed listening to music with the headphones on my head. The force and weight from his body crushed me. I began to cry. Yes, I cried during sex. Not because I thought it felt good, but because I didn't want it, this to happen. My tears didn't stop him or even concern him that he could possibly be hurting me. He continued. I lied there lifeless. I was just a toy that seemed to be pleasuring his overly produced testosterone. He stopped for a few seconds. My eyes were closed and filled with tears, so I had no idea what he was doing. I thought he was done, 
but the fun for him has only just begun. He continued, his body pressing against mine like there was no tomorrow. It lasted for about ten minutes, until... Until he gasped for air and relief as his semen shot on my vagina. What a scare. The tears were non-stop when I felt his fluid on me. I knew something wasn't right. I left quickly that night. Crying, trying to drive down the road, almost running a stop sign. I needed to get home. But why? Who was there waiting for me? No one. I ran to my room, barricading myself inside. I got under my covers and cried. Yes, I cried. I cried because I felt like I was going to die. I felt alone, scared, so I called my brother. He picked up and said hello, but my hello was filled with a cry. No words came out, just sobbing. I hung up. I'm sorry, I panicked. An hour later, or maybe less, I lost track of time. I got a knock. Well, more like a bang on my bedroom door. I acted like I was asleep, but that did not stop him. Let me correct that. That did not stop them. Yes, he told my mom I was crying, and they rushed to the house. I was forced to answer the door. You guys don't know my brother, but he is crazy. He was about to take off my door. I faked a smile and pretended like nothing had happened. Questions and questions, the stare from his piercing eyes. I cracked. I told them and they were not happy. I finally had peace and quiet until you texted me. I had a great night. I can't wait to do it again, you said. Those words stabbed me right in the heart, like you didn't care that I cried most of the night. I was angry and decided to confront you. He just apologized and made me feel special. I took a pregnancy test the next day, but it was too soon to say. You messaged me with your caring words. I'm a fool. I believe every lie you told. I asked you if you would now meet my parents. You agreed with a condition, which was for us to have sex again before we met them. How could I even think about giving you a second chance when you betrayed my trust? Safe sex. I said no. No. A word that I should have used from the start. A word that you did not like, so you broke up with me. I knew it. I was just a piece of meat to satisfy a carnivore. Carnivore, an animal that feeds on flesh. Yes, you heard that right. You are an animal. A few weeks went by, and I heard nothing from you. But that's okay. I had an appointment to get tested to make sure I was infected with any kind of disease. Negative. A sign of relief. Oh, and I'm not pregnant, but that was a surprise to me. Months went by and I was getting over you and was ready to move on until something went wrong. It was hard to walk, hard to use the bathroom. I was uncomfortable. I made it to the doctors just to receive heartbreaking news. I have herpes. Herpes. An STD. STD. Sexually transmitted disease. You gave that to me. There is no cure. You ruined my life for sure. You denied it when I told you. But I was not looking for an apology. I just wanted you to see that you hurt me completely. Finding someone to love me has been, and still is, a struggle. No one wants an STD, so I feel like I don't deserve to be loved at all. So thank you for ruining my life. My love life. Just remember, 
karma is a bitch.